how to create 3D images. In this video, I will share the four different methods I use to create these panoramic views. You can find the timeline of the video in down below, so feel free to skip any part you wish to. First, I want to try out if I can create HDR panoramic images with Midjourney. In case you don't know, Midjourney is a generative AI where you can create images using text and other images. It is the most popular one at the moment. I try to create a neighborhood view by adding keywords like panorama, 4D rendering, 360 degree view to my prompt. The result wasn't so bad, but the seam is pretty obvious. Then I text it out with something more abstract, this space view. The overall view was pretty nice, but it's not so good as an HDR image because the top and bottom parts were pretty bad. Some of them were slightly better, but in none of them it was seamless. If you want to use partially some part of it, you can maybe use it in your renders, it could work, but not as a panoramic image. Otherwise it is absolutely incredible. It will open up lots of opportunities, especially for game developers, because you can easily import this view into Unreal Engine and then you can start walking inside. So my score for mid-journey panoramic view is 3 out of 5. For the second method, I used a website called Block8 Labs. It is completely free to use right now. You can just type your text, describe what kind of space you imagine, and you can choose from different styles from the menu in this part. And I decided to use the similar prompts for each of the different methods so we can compare them easily. And this is what I got for the neighborhood view. It is pretty impressive. Even these tiny details of the garden door look pretty nice. But weirdly, I got a snowy view even though I specifically wrote rainy day in my prompt and after that i tried to create a landscape view from the lord of the Rings series and the result was pretty impressive especially the reflections on the lake and the stone pads look very real You can also try the remix option to change the style of the space without changing the actual environment. I tried to turn this view into something more dark and it actually created a mordor on the top parts. I'm not so sure what is this space but overall it looks very cool. Afterwards, I tried to create some interior views. The general quality of the images are super nice. It's completely seamless, so it's a proper 3D environment. But most of the space doesn't make sense. Especially for this kitchen scene, there are several doors and sinks. In the remix version, it got rid of some of them, so it was slightly better. Overall, it works pretty nice, so I really liked it. I gave 4.5 out of 5. Okay, this one is a bit different. Instead of text to image, this one works as paint to image. At first, it was only for normal 2D images, but recently they added the panorama option. You can download this from the link in the video description, and it is completely free to use. When you first open, we have two main canvases, and one for the painting version, and the other one is for the realistic one. On the top right corner, you can also preview it as 3D. Under that, there are many different materials you can paint with, and various backgrounds to pick. I will first select hill and paint a small hill in the background. So once you paint something on the top, it will automatically update the view on the bottom and it will adjust the elements you paint into this environment. 
so you can see the beautiful sunset on the hill and you can see the final version here this rock looks a bit weird but other than that it looks pretty nice since you are just painting it was pretty fun to play with it so i created a couple of different ones you can create super realistic scenes with nvidia canvas and it creates a perfect panoramic view so there is no seam at all the only downside for me that it can be a bit limited if you want to create landscape views they are absolutely enough because we have around 20 materials to choose from but if you want to create something different it can be a bit limited that's why my point for nvidia is 4 out of 5 and lastly i tried to create 3d images using stable diffusion i use this 360 view lora model you can find all the links in the video description after you download it move it to the lora folder under stable diffusion once you open it you can find it under the lora tab before I tried this, I downloaded an extension called Panorama Viewer. With this extension, you can preview generated images as 3D directly inside Stable Division user interface. So you don't need to find the image after each generation and open it in another application to view it as 3D. Once you install it, click on Apply and Restart. Then you can start generating. To be honest, for me, the text to image version wasn't so successful. I tried many different prompts and I restarted stable diffusion, but whatever I did, I couldn't generate my 3D images just from text. Then I wanted to try editing an existing HDR image using Control Net. I downloaded some images from Polyheaven to use it as a reference. There are two important settings you should change before you generate. The aspect ratio of the image should be 2 to 1. And don't forget to enable the tiling option. For example, I use this image to generate a more futuristic city version of something like this. There are some problematic parts at the bottom and the top parts, but you can easily edit them and fix them in Photoshop. So my overall score for stable diffusion is 3.5 out of 5. And that's it for this video. I tried to share four different ways how you can create 3D images using AI. And which one was your favorite one? Please let me know in the comments down below. You can find all the websites and tools I used in this video in the video description. I hope you liked it and see you in the next video.